All right, ladies, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to NJ to the City's Literature Library. I would say part one, but I've already explained what parts of it is in the last two videos. But forget it. Let's just go ahead and get started, shall we? Um, for all the kids and teens out there, NJ to the City's Literature Library, once again, probably in, probably going to be the introduction or third introduction part three, I guess. What this is about, ladies and gentlemen, is once again giving back to kids with God first everything that I got, everything that I have, which I can help you with in terms of reading, you know, and you could even say reading fluency to an extent, you know, and I just love kids. I love kids. I love teens. I love everybody. I'm only 21 years old, ladies and gentlemen. I just graduated from Allen Denise High School, part of the class of 2018. I am not too far off from a lot of you when it comes to the age range and when it comes to ideology and when it comes to you know how hopes for the living and when it comes to just a lot of things i'm not too far off from you i'm not 35 i'm not 29 uh, i'm not even 25 i'm 21 years old so i'm not too far off from a lot of you with a lot of things and i want you all to understand that you know god first and everything i live to give back to you i live to honor you i live to you know um give back to you honor you support you encourage you cheer you on and motivate you, God, first over everything. These are the things that I live for and I want to do and I want to continuously bring to the light with everything that I got first do. Um, I'm going to do so much great work with these things. I can't even lie. I just thought of a, a great idea, you know, for um, kids, um, you know, of getting merch that I can make for the kids, a part of NJ to the City's Literature Library. Um, I, uh, I would say either, either the program, the foundation, or the store. Well, you know, all together, really. Probably literature program, probably. Uh, li li literature library program. Um, this is what I'm going to do. For a lot of kids, you're going to end up, like, for example, to, to, to see your, to track, to track your continuous growth in reading with fluency and pronouncing words and, you know, and problem solving when it comes to plots and et cetera, et cetera. You know, I'm going to, you know, make some, like, you know, some, again, best reader merch, you know, some MVP merch, some, you know, whatever merch. Um, I guess to fit reading, it would probably be more of like, you know, best reader um, merch and uh, whatever else I can come up with, you know. Because um, I want you all to understand, this is all for the for the Vincent of, of you, you know. And literally, if you don't understand half what I'm saying, you should probably understand everything I'm saying. It just I might not be saying every word as clearly as possible. But I'm not going to start over with this video. Um... Everything I'm doing with this stuff is to further advance you. It really, purely, truly, dearly is. You know, I'm telling you, being out at your sporty events, your your spelling bees, your graduations, God on oh my soul, this is the realest that I can do, the realest that I can be. This is my God, first Jesus Christ salvation, everything. This is what I, Jesus Christ salvation, live for on a daily basis to help you kids learn, build, and grow in Christ's name through life, school, sports, whatever it is that you're doing. And I would definitely love to do that. And I don't know much about, I mean, I'm I'm a little bit of a tech guy, but not too, too much of a tech guy. And I got even something that I just thought of. How about NJ to the City um, Tech Fair, NJ to the City um, ro Robotics or something like that, eventually when, I, eventually when I start venturing into something when it comes to... <laughs> When it, when it comes to technology and robotics or whatever. I got too many ideas, ladies and gentlemen. I got too many ideas. Way too many ideas. I'm telling you, I mean, God is good. And I, it's not that I'm a self-absorbed a self maniac that I just name everything after myself. Because a lot some things I try not to name after myself. But at the same time, my name just goes well with practically everything. NJ to the City just goes well with practically everything, which is why I put it on practically almost everything that I do when it comes to a new initiative of whatever it is. Because my, my name just goes with so many different, you know, titles, so many different genres, so many different, you know, career paths. It just goes with so many things, you know, so many variations, and that's just what it is. So, indeed. Like, NJ to the City, NJ to the City Automotives. <laughs> you know, NJ to the City Automobiles. I want to start up a garage or want to start up my own dealership. I mean, come on, why not? But that's going to cost a lot of money. So, you know, just let you know. But I can do it all. God is good. I can do it all. So, um, yeah, NJ to the City's Literature Library for kids and teens, ladies and gentlemen. I definitely want to help 
God first, whatever I can with you all, you know, becoming better readers. Better readers than me. Because trust me, I'm a okay reader or a good reader, but I definitely stutter at times, you know. And I definitely want you all to, you know, know that, you know, well, most definitely. I stutter at times and there's a lot of things, but I definitely want to God first do whatever I can to help you all you know, not be me when it comes to reading to an extent. Or if that's not really the, the right phrase for it, be just better readers in your own independent mind and your own independent right and your own independent thinking and such. Problem solving. I want you all to become better readers. And NJ to the City Literature Library Program or Literature Program um, is going to help you with that. Um, I don't know whether the title of the program, Literature Library Program or Literature Program, probably you know, I mean, the whole program itself is titled Injury to the City's Literature Library for Kids and Teens. That's what that entire program is, you know, titled. But we're going to see exactly, you know, you know what the program is titled. Because I definitely want to help you all get better at reading in God for whatever type of ways that I can. I want to donate to you. I want to put some books up for sale. And I also, you know, want to, uh, yeah, I want to don donate to you, put some books up for sale. And even... Again, you know, hold some, hold some, um, you know, hold some, you know, reading programs for you to help you with reading in whatever type of God first way that I can. Now, I want to let you also know that I have no credentials in terms of college degrees for a darn thing that I'm talking about. And I don't care. I really don't care. I don't care for college degrees right now in my life. College degrees mean absolutely almost nothing to me in my life right now. And for all parents that are probably watching this with your children, that's not to say that I'm telling your child not to go to college, especially if that's what you want them to do, go to college. That's just me telling you my story about right now, I don't care to go to college because I got all these ideas without going to college. And I can tell you I can pioneer these brands greatly without going to college. Going to college does not guarantee you a job, does not guarantee you success. If anything, going to college these days guarantees you more of, you know, a life of, dare I even say it, you know, Nah, let me not say that. Well, actually, I don't know what it guarantees you. I just know it depends probably on who you are, your background, and what you want to, to do. Some, you know, a lot of people I know are disgruntled with their college with their college aftermath of not being able to find jobs in their career field or not getting paid what they thought or not, you know, doing as well or whatever the type is. But I definitely know that I have no degrees for a darn thing that I'm doing. No, no mentorship, no child care, no... No, uh, no teaching degree, no literature degree, no what. I don't have any. I don't have them. I just know what I know from growing up in my childhood experiences of what I know I can teach kids in God first, whatever it is. And I want you all to understand who might outcast me for saying what I'm saying. Ask yourself, read the news and ask yourself how many of these people who have college degrees and are licensed are continuously abusing kids, neglecting kids, and just taking your money at the end of the day. Because I've done quite a bit of research and a lot of them are doing that exact thing. They're abusing your kids, they're taking your money, and your kid ends up with more trauma than ever because they didn't learn anything and or they got abused and neglected and taken advantage of negatively. I'm not trying to do any of that. That's not my lingo, that's not my style, that's not at all what I do or stand for. I'm out here as somebody that doesn't need to, you know, be out here when it comes to like someone that doesn't need what I do. I don't need to do what I do. I just choose to do it because I do feel like it's my godly calling. But I don't need to do what I do for, like, you know, whatever, or whichever words finishes that, 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 that sentence. I don't need what I don't need what I do. I just want what I do. Like, I don't, like, I, dare I say, I don't need what I do for a piece. I don't need what I do for a peace of mind or even for purpose. But I cannot lie to you. It helps give me a peace of mind. It helps give me purpose. But I can have a purpose doing a lot of other things. I just do this out of the pure kindness of my heart because I love kids and I love interacting and I love building, you know, you know, li livelihoods and friendships with you all. So, NJ to the City's literature um, library program or literature library show is probably what it's going to be titled. Um, I mean, I got everything I just named yet. Like, I mean, literature library program, uh, show, foundation, and store. Four things right there. The show is going to be filmed right here on this YouTube the program is something that I don't know how I'm going to put that together, but it's definitely some type of activism thing. Um, the foundation is going to have its own Instagram. Um, and um, and uh, the shop is going to be an online Shopify store. But that's what I want to do for you all. 
to help you advance your reading, kids, help you advance your, your, your reading, your fluency, whatever it is that you're struggling with and whatever it is that you need from me when it comes to whatever new books, whatever type of ideas and whatever else. I can help you and I just want to help you and I want to give back and that's just what it is. And I'm so thankful that God blesses me with this creativity and wild imagination to do so because, I mean, this is genius. And because kids, I got to tell you, I don't read all the time. Like, I mean, read all the time. I don't really read chapter books at all. I haven't read, I haven't, the only last time I read a dang book in my life, for the most part, was me reading it for school. Other than that, I don't just go out, go out my comfort zone to read books. I just don't do it. But I would love to go outside my comfort zone. Actually, not even outside my comfort zone. I can read books anytime I want to. I just don't do it, you know. But I would love to get more into it if it means I'm helping you kids get better at your literature, get better at your learning, get better at your memorization, get better at your reading, get better at your fluency, get better at whatever it is. You know, I would love to help you all out with the literature program, the literature library show, the uh, literature store, and everything. I would love to help you all out with all the, the all that the, the literature foundation and more. Because eventually, I'm gonna definitely buy a ton of books. I'm just gonna go and don't donate them to some of these schools for their summer reading pr program, and you know, and, and just do that because this is all about making the making the impact, building the legacy, and standing for something. Because I'm only 21 years old, kids, teens, parents. I'm only 21, and I do feel like I live with a lot of purpose with this more than what a lot of people have ever lived with in more time than me. But that's just my opinion, arrogant opinion. So I don't think there's any other thing I can explain other than the fact being that, yes, with the Literature Library Show, what that means is, you know, I'm going to be on YouTube and I'm going to be reading books to you all in this form. That's what I'm going to be doing. And if you want the audio version, just, just, just a plain audio version, I'll start up a SoundCloud for it eventually. But that's what the Literature Library Show is. The Literature Library Show is just going to be me in front of, you know, doing exactly something I do with every other video that I do on this channel. It's going to be me reading a book to you that's what it's gonna be you know and my and i'm gonna try to do every book every passage that i read you know and i guess you could say a fast pace a slow pace and a medium pace because i do want kids and i hope to any parent or any teacher that puts one of my you know tapes on for their kids you know i hope that they understand that i'm not trying to mess your kids up with everything i just said about the high pace the medium pace and the low and the slow pace i'm just trying to you know in whatever way your your the your kid or kids understand it the most you know from coming out of my mouth whether it's they you know they they, they, they understand if i'm talking slow or if i like if i'm reading it slow if i'm reading it um fast if i'm reading medium whichever way they understand it the best that's why i want to give you more options of how i i, I read it if i can even you know complete you know co complete it like that you know, and again, if any parent wants to, again, support me financially with these things, eventually you can donate to my PayPal and you can also buy some stuff from the online store because I'm so serious about doing this stuff with you all, for you all, for the further visit of all people. This is what I know I can do without a college degree. This is how I know I can build a legacy, uh, build, build a legacy, make an impact, build a brand, you know, and give back to the kids constructively all without ever going to college. And that's what it is. I can do this all without going. To, I can, especially making some good money off of it, good enough money off of it. Why go to college to do that? Why go to college to spend all that money on whatever degree just to find out, wow, this helped me with nothing? At least you would ask me. Now, again, kids, depending on what you do in life, you're going to need college and need degrees. So don't let this be, oh, Nate's trying to talk me out of college. No, I'm just telling you my story, my personal background, and my personal future thoughts with you know big with futurely going to college the pros and cons i will eventually i just don't care enough to do it now because i feel like i can be successful with god for anything and everything i want without it right now because i know it's not that hard to do majority of what i do it's really basic common sense easy this is me getting paid to generally work on my time on my schedule god first doing whatever it is that i need to and want to do you know, this, you know, off the arts, off of what I am passionate about versus going to work for somebody else that I'm not passionate about just so I can say I have a job that does not fit me and I will not make that sacrifice again until I have to make the sacrifice. Other than that, let's see what we can do with building this literature brand for the kids. So that's pretty much what this video will probably be titled, my literature brand for the kids. Love you all. Take care. You're bored of me. City. Out. God bless.